You ever wonder what the secret to a delicious sesame noodle is? Well, I don't know what everybody else's secret is, but my secret is I'm adding peanut butter. I don't actually think that's a very big secret because I think a lot of people do it, but it adds a great amount of flavor and some fantastic texture to your sesame noodles. I also like to add some vegetables to mine because I don't think any meal is complete without some vegetables. So I'm slicing up a red pepper very, very thinly. And in this bowl over here, I have half a pound of snow peas that I've also very thinly sliced. Got to add some crunch and freshness to every dish. That's what I always say. I have a pot of spaghetti already boiling because it should take about the same amount of time for the pasta to cook as it does for you to get everything else ready. So it comes together really, really quickly. Sauce is made in a blender. Half a cup of peanut butter. I'm using the, what I like to call dessert style peanut butter as opposed to that natural peanut butter. I know you might think it's not that healthy. Well, I guess not, but once in a while, there's just a place for that peanut butter and I think this is it. Makes delicious sesame noodles. A third of a cup of water. Add a quarter of a cup of rice vinegar. The unseasoned kind, please. Quarter cup of soy sauce. If you want to, you can use a low sodium soy sauce to keep this lower in sodium. It is kind of a lot of soy sauce for some people. Soy sauce not only adds saltiness though, it does add a ton of flavor and a lot of depth of flavor, which is great in dishes like this. So don't leave it out. Two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil. There are actually two main kinds. The toasted, which is this really flavorful sesame oil, it's mostly used for flavoring things. And then the untoasted, which is used for cooking. So in dishes like this, make sure you get the toasted. Usually comes in a small jar and you should definitely keep it refrigerated. One jalapeno that's been seeded and minced. You can also leave the seeds in if you like it really spicy. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Salt enhances flavors in ways that the soy sauce doesn't. That's why there's salt and soy sauce. And then the recipe calls for two cloves of garlic, but this is kind of a big clove of garlic, so I'm only gonna use one. Blend it up. Done. It's a little messy, it gets all up in the blender, so make sure you scrape it all down because you don't want to leave any in the blender. You want it all on your pasta, right? Give it a taste. Mmm, it's good. I'm gonna go get my pasta. This is a pound of pasta. It's spaghetti. I cooked it and then drained it and rinsed it with cold water because this is a cold dish. Spaghetti, maybe not the most authentic for a sesame noodle, but it's very accessible and I like to use it, but if you have access to something a little bit more Asian, that would be great too. This is a lot of pasta. But people are gonna love it so much, it's gonna disappear in minutes. Toss everything together. That's it, we're done. That was fast, right? Let's give it a try, shall we? And by we, I mean me, of course, because you're not here. Mm, that was really good. You guys are definitely going to want to make this one. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.